things about the last session that we had yesterday was like one of the guidelines that just said try on, right? Try on what's coming. And so I invite you to try this on. Um, and, and here's the premise. Here's my intention is to create a space where we can just be free, where you can be your very best self in all the ways and allow whatever's moving through to move through. And the premise behind that is that life is made of energy and that so often in our society, we are trained to kind of capture that energy and store it. So we're trained to like sit like this at our desks and we're trained to like, this is the way we greet people or like we're trained to like something startles us and we shock it and it kind of holds into our body, but we often don't train ourselves to release it. And so while I love the deep breaths, and we will start there, we're going to actually move with some, with our bodies in whatever way your body is inviting you to move today. So I'll guide you in ways that my body knows to move, and I'll explain to you why I'm doing those movements. But at any point in time, if you're like, actually, my body's telling me to do this, or I'm feeling this, or I'm being called to do this, then I just want to remind you that is exactly what I'm asking you to do. It is exactly where you're meant to be. And that is the goal of today. So could we take three deep breaths? And then just let it all the way out. And the next one, feel the breath come all the way up through your body. And as you exhale, feel it just sort of flush on the top of your head down through your page, down your hips, down your feet, out your fingertips. Again. Again, I want to remind you to show up exactly as you are. Take a deep breath. Allow that feeling in your heart to fill your chest cavity. And as you exhale, to just flow back through another one. And if you have your eyes closed on this next exhale, feel free to open them. And if you are open to it, you can stay seated. First of all, let me do a sound check. Can you hear me? Okay. Give me a thumbs up. Everyone's all right. Okay. I invite you to make some space for your body. So I am sitting on a bouncy ball. I'm just going to actually move it away. You're welcome to stay where you are or to stand behind. You're welcome to leave your camera on or turn it off. Can you still hear me if I'm here? Yes. Okay. Let me explain something to you a little bit closer to the microphone and then we're going to do some activities. But it's this. Inside our bodies, we obviously have tons of energy running around, right? Some people would call that the meridians and the chakras and it just pulses up and down in us. It's actually really fun to explain while I'm sitting on a bouncy ball. We also have like the bones and the blood, but one thing that we don't talk about a lot is the synovial fluid, which is actually a fluid that's in all of our joints. And it's the fluid that keeps our life sort of lubricated and viscous in our ability to move. And in our socialization, we are often trained to move our bodies in very specific ways. This is the way we respond here. This is the way we walk. This is the way we stand with confidence. This is the way we do this dance move, right? And as we grow older, oftentimes we forget to move our bodies in all the ways that release that energy and that synovial fluid. So go ahead and move your space. I'm going to invite you to move the synovial fluid through your body. Do a quick scan. Do a quick scan to see how your body's feeling. Then hold your hands up, pull in, and shake out. Pull in and shake out, pull in, and shake out, pull in, shake out. Now take those same fingers and just kind of wiggle them around for a minute. And take your wrists and just move them. You may start feeling an energy, a tingling, a little bit of heat or cold or pain. Just pay attention to that. We are moving, literally moving the energy through your body. And if you haven't moved these energies and these joints lately, they're gonna start bringing stuff up and that's perfectly okay. That's exactly what we're going for. Okay, we're gonna move the energy now to the elbows. I want you to just like spin those elbows around like you're, there you go. And 
as you move this energy, things will start arising in your mind, in your body. You'll start noticing the sensations. What does that feel like? Do you feel it? You might start to notice that something's building in your chest because the energy is actually moving through. Start moving your shoulders. Now, whatever that means like for your body, for mine, I tend to start moving in small circles and then bigger, and I let the blood flow through to my fingers. And I just let it pulse. Can you feel it? Now switch directions. You might want to start small. And as the energy flows, you'll feel it build. Kind of like when you start to go out for a walk. You may feel emotions come up. I ask you, I beg you, I implore you, I invite you to let them out. It could be a laugh. It could be a moan. Like, it could be a cry or a scream or a yell. Part of you embracing the whole part of your body is not allowing that to flow through you. Here it is. Here's one of my favorites. I want you to feel this energy right here in your heart. I want you to tip your hips back, pull your shoulders back and open your hands. Inhale, as you exhale, reverse that switch so that your body is nice and round. So you tuck your hips under, tuck your shoulders and push with your hands, tuck your chin and switch. Really like opening the chest cavity open and switch. Now, of course, you can move your body in any way, or you can be laying calmly on the floor. But if you're with me, take a couple more. In. Each time we're opening the rib cage forward and then back, lifting our chin, tucking the chin. Big deep breaths. One more. Now we have a choice here. We can go up. Let's take a minute to do that. Let's just warm up our face. Just, just stretch it out. Move your mouth one side to the other. Move your eyes up and down. Now see if you can pull the whole thing open. Let's crunch it up. You know, it's great is that we are actually capable of moving and making so many more emotions than we usually share on any given day. Day. They're like acceptable societal emotions to share freely. But you know what? Our bodies were made for more. So if you find that your body, your face feels a little bit stuck, go ahead and just pull. Just pull and massage and open and stretch it. Okay. Oh. So we've done the tips of the arms to about the body to the top, right? Take a minute to scan. That took us just a handful of minutes. You feel light, energized, tingly, free, heavy, uncomfortable, comfortable, wild. For me, I feel like a wildness pulsing, but I only feel it to about here. I wore my pajama pants today. Let me uh, show you this second half. We're gonna wake up our hips in the bottom half of our body. So if you have room, Literally throw your foot forward, throw it forward, throw it back, throw it forward, throw it back. And if you don't, I want you to just look around you right now and touch in with your body and go, what can I do right now that would open that hip joint? Now, if you're like doing the beautiful ballerina, toss, toss, I'm gonna ask you to give it a little bit more. Give it a kick, kick, just let it fling. Like wild abandoned leg here. Then bring your feet together. We're going to lift your knee up and pretend you're stepping into a bucket, then up and back. We're actually opening up that hip socket, right? We're allowing that synovial fluid to move. <sighs> Big deep breaths. One more. Lift your knee and just stir the bucket with the bottom half of your leg. We are releasing energy. We are creating viscosity in our joints. We are undoing the harm of sitting in our desks all day, sitting critically with our little bodies tight. We are letting it go instead. Okay, same leg. Lift it as high as you can. It's okay to be holding onto a wall and turn your ankles. Now, if you're sitting in your chair still, that's wonderful. You can do this right where you are. Turn it one way, 
and then the other. Grab the air with your toes. Put it down. How are you doing? Let's do it again with the other side. So we're just going to start by flinging the energy forward. If your breath is risen and it's coming in a little bit harder, I want you to take a nice deep breath and just allow that to flow. If your energies, your emotions have risen, allow them to flow through. Let's do three, two, one. Nice. We bring this knee up and step it back into a leg, like you're stepping over a bucket or into a bucket. I like to think about how I ground in imagination and creativity. I'm just gonna go ahead and step into my creative bucket and into my wildness. Just wanted to give you a minute there. One more. Lift this knee and just go ahead and stir that bucket. Stir up your dreams, stir up your imaginings. Tomorrow, we're actually gonna write and dream and imagine the, the vision of our best selves. But today, we're gonna allow that energy to just like rise and grow in us first. I get excited and then I'm all out of breath. I'm like shouting from halfway across the room. So I'm just gonna take a moment. I invite you to take one. The same leg that we were just working on, we still have the ankle. And the toes. Take a minute. You came into this call about 18 minutes ago. In 18 minutes now, are you in the same state that you were in before or have you shifted? Take a minute to breathe. Create that awareness to truly feel what this is like and to recognize that you took the actions that shifted and put you into a different place. We'll do one more thing and then I want to come back and hear about what your actual experience is. So I'm going to show you this. As humans, we are one of the, <laughs> we are the only animal that controls and stifles and suppresses our sound. So I'm going to ask you start letting it go a little bit more, to just allow that voice to come forward. I recognize who you are as a change leader, as a beautiful human, as the best of all you can be, and oftentimes that will mean using your voice to share your brilliant ideas, to stand up for justice, to express and confront and connect. So we're going to open our bodies, rise all the way up, and we start at the top by shaking your fingers. Shake your body, shake your face, and as it passes, as the energy shakes down, passes your face, I want you to let the sound come out. <laughs> now, that's the sound that my body makes. I want you to make the sound that your body makes. So it could be anything you want, but whatever's coming up for you today, even if you're sitting in your chair and you're meditating, you may want to open your mouth and go, ah. For me, I'm going to do this. I get really excited when I do this, but this is being recorded. We might watch it again later. One last time. Ready? When you're ready, come on back. <laughs>